Just what is it that you want to do? Well, we want to be free. We want to be free to, to do what we want to do. And we want to get loaded. And we want to have a good time. And that's what we're going to do. Hi hey guys, Todd here. Seems to be a bit dark in here. Uh, right. <laughs> My head hurts. Um, let's just be clear on one thing before I start here. Now, you would have seen a picture before I came along showing you what I'm going to be reviewing, which is the Nova V2 Hybrid in 18350 mode. Um, now, he did there, uh, that's a bit more human looking. Um, now, there were two versions available, uh, an 18350 and an 18650. Uh, the tubes are not interchangeable, then um, you buy it, one of each. Now, my head hurts because I've been trying to read Romanian all day. Uh, <laughs> I'm not having much success, but what I do know about this mod, there is a forum called Vapors Forum, that's V-A-P-E-R-S, Vapors Forum dot R-O, Romeo Oscar, R-O. And that's a, a, Roman, a Romanian forum, a Vapors Forum, and on that forum there's a chap called Sipsig, C-I-P-C-I-G. And he makes the Nova V2, not to be confused with the VV Nova, no relation. Um, now, I can't even tell you how much this costs. Uh, I see at the start of uh, his own thread for this, uh, it states for the Mini it was 330 and for the Max it was 370. Now I don't know if that was uh, Euros or if it was in Romanian currency. currency. Uh, now if it was in Romanian currency, that means that uh, the 18350 hybrid was about £65. That's not including delivery and whatnot. Um, now I don't know if that's correct. I really don't know. Um, I'll keep trying to dig and find more information on this, but uh, rather than me waffling on anymore, we're going to get right into it. Uh, I don't know if you can actually hear it now. There's a buzzing in the background. The, the mod is actually in an ultrasonic bath getting clean just now. Um, I've just had it out put the buffer over it. It was already shiny, uh, but put the buffer over it again and I'm uh, just cleaning it up. So, let's see what it's made up of and uh, we'll take it from there. All freshly polished and cleaned and raring to go. What a lovely collection of parts. Now, this drip tip came in the package that I got. Uh, I have no idea if that came with it from new uh, so because I don't know about this we're taking it out of the equation um, but it's a really nice strip tip so this is everything you get in the Nova V2 um, as far as I can make out it's the actual button uh, that's been upgraded um, that's the main difference to the Nova version 1 I've never actually seen a Nova version 1 I can't find a picture of it but uh, and that's all I can make out. Uh, it's a bottom firer and uh, it is a beautiful switch mechanism. I really like it. Uh, now, just to show you some up close stuff here, just to give you an idea. Now this has uh, white o-rings that have been put on it. Uh, I think the person that owned it before me did that. But there's your deck, if you like. Uh, another one of my pet hates, you know, Phillips on the top and flathead on the bottom. I'll change them round so they're both the same. Uh, but uh, that's easy enough done. Uh, I don't know if it came like that from the, the maker. And that's the thing I have to be clear here is uh, that 
I got this second hand, I, you know, this is how it came to me, so just, you know, there might be a few changes from the original. Uh, that's the finish on it. I can actually see a couple of machining marks on it, uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll be able to polish them out. But it's, uh, I don't know if that's from previous existence or whatnot. Uh, you see down the bottom there, there's a flathead screw down there. You can actually, if you have uh, any loose batteries, you know, if you've got an 18350 and it's loose, you can adjust that screw down there and uh, it will take the rattle out of any of your batteries. So that's quite handy, quite similar to the Icarus in that respect. Um, top cap. Which I actually polished inside. Um, there's your tank. I don't know what kind of material this is. I don't know if it's PMME or what it is. It actually just feels like a plastic tank, actually, but there you go. I'm not an expert on these things, so I'm not pretend that I am. Uh, right, the, the switch is made up of several parts. Here's your Delrin base there. And essentially what we have is, just to get this in order here, we have the bottom section. The spring sits on this post. Excuse me. It should in turn go like that, which then goes in here. I'll just screw that on just now. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. And um, we'll take this. Oh, it's like a stainless steel, but I can see a bit of almost brass type colour to it as well. Uh, and I'll just tighten that down. Sorry, going out of shot there again. And there we go, there's the switch. That's it in the open position. And that's it in the lock position. Now, when I initially saw it and I thought, well, this bit here isn't threaded or, or anything like that, it's, it's going to get tight and, you know, it's going to be a right sod to loosen off. But it's not. It's, it's the threading is... It's stunning. Uh, the threading is really good on it. It's a bit rough in places, but uh, you know, when I, I put it onto the the tube, focus on that, and it's. Very nice action. You can actually push it anywhere. Uh, really like the firing mechanism in this. Very impressed with it. Um, okay, let's get the, the tank on here. There we go. Top cap on. Drip tip on. And there we go. Uh, 
Uh, right. That's essentially all there is to it. I have to say that it's just a single O-ring here. Uh, and I'll try and get back in focus again. There you go. It's just a single O-ring here, and uh, usually I don't have much luck with single O-rings, but this Yep, no problem at all. Uh, drip tip fits, fits nicely. And, you know, it's, it's... I really like it. Right, I'm going to shift the camera a second. Right. That, I mean, that's what it's made up uh, of. I mean, this, this thing is... This is solid. I mean, it's 316. Uh, stainless steel and you know it's very very weighty uh, in fact bear with me just a second right i've just got the scales out there now i know uh, an orion version 2.1 with a tank of liquid is 121 grams the nova v2 without any liquid is 154 grams. Uh, it's bigger. Uh, there's no denying that. They're both, I mean, they're both, they both float my boat. Uh, <laughs> I like them both for different reasons. Uh, now, bearing in mind, I was the man that the um, well I sold my Icarus uh, because it just wasn't kind of my thing uh, I, it was a, a good hybrid but it just didn't really work for me uh, and looking at this It's even, it's essentially plainer looking than the Icarus. The Icarus is, Icarus is more uh, designed to it, if you like, um, with the, the carbon bottom and the, uh, you know. But this is, I don't know how to put it. I'm kind of struggling for words a wee bit here. It's kind of almost... <laughs> Oh, I don't I hope this doesn't come across wrong. Agricultural, it's it's a hefty, solid beast. There's nothing, you know, look at me, um, the next latest, greatest hybrid or anything like that. You know, this thing was uh, this thing was meant to work for a living. It was <laughs> it's kinda got that it feel to it, it just feels like it wants to vape well. <laughs> It's not making any sense at all, uh, but uh, right, let's get a, a wick and a coil in this and uh, I'll see how it vapes and uh, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm just checking the resistance of my coil. Give uh, me two seconds. Yeah, two, three, one point seven. It's quite high for me. Uh, but then I've got the uh, four wraps of point two cancel on there. Uh, just to see, we can't get it zoomed in, and you can have a look. Now that was incredibly easy to wick and coil uh incredibly easy um and there you can see the fill hole uh just at the top there and i am now just going to pop some e-liquid in here now i do believe that uh, this is a two and a half mil tank Just a wee bit too much there. A wee bit on the wick. 
It's not that leaking everywhere. Now uh, let's see what we get. Shame to that at all. No hot spots, wicking well. Uh, quite like that. Right. Uh, so there she is, filled up. Now, a very slight travel in the firing button there before it kicks in. Uh, and I've actually found that I don't actually, you know, I can take the locking ring down a bit. I've been vaping it like this for most of the day. I just set the locking ring just above, you know, the off position, if you like, and firing it like that. Um, see, right, this is a new wick and coil. Uh, Grants Vanilla Custard 50-50, uh, VGPG in there. Uh, I'll just give this a wee wipe. <coughs> Excuse me a second. And we'll see how this goes. What have I done? Done something. Only when you're recording, eh? I think. Hmm. Let's investigate. Do you know what it is? When I... I put it in the, <laughs> an idiot, the sonic bath and uh, right up inside the top screw there, uh, it was wet, uh, so that's what the problem was there, I'm hoping. It was, yeah, it was just wet. Uh, Bloody idiot. Still the same. Ah. Right, I, I'm gonna come right out and say this here. Um, I wish I had five more of these. <laughs> I really do. It is the first hybrid rebuildable atomizer I've ever had that straight out the box and I've put my usual vape in it and it is tasted superb. The flavour is baffling. It really is. It's um, uh, the Grant's vanilla custard is is more suited for silica, and that's where you get the best results from. That's where I normally vape it. Uh, in this, the flavour is coming across really crisp and clear. Um, it is. I say that I have just set this up, but I was vaping it all day. And that's a new wicking coil that I've put in it. And it's the exact same. It's it's from the off. It's just a beautiful vape. It's, it's, ah. I 
That's excellent. <laughs> really, that's excellent. Uh, I love this wee thing. I really do love it. Um, uh, of course, I'm slightly biased because it's uh, all polished up and shiny and bling and um, it's got a beautiful lock and switch on it that works really well. Um, which the one thing I have noticed is when the lock and ring is down, it sits perfectly straight. When the lock and ring is off, oh no, it's okay now. No, it's got a, a, a tiny wee tilt, but it's not a wobbler. <laughs> you know, it's uh, like the, see the iHybrid or a Zen or th something like that. You know, when you sit them on their base with the lock and switch off, you know, the, the wobble. Uh, but this one doesn't. It's just... I have to say, I, I am smitten uh, with this thing. I, I am. Uh, I'm absolutely smitten. Uh, if you like the look of that, and you can live with the 18350, and you do get it in 18650 as well, then I would thoroughly recommend that you hunt one down and buy it. Uh, I suspect that they go for silly money, uh, or they were initially sold for silly money. I'm talking cheap. Um, if he, let's say, I don't know the actual price, but if that price was in Romanian currency, and it was, and this thing did cost, I say about seventy quid, brand new, excluding delivery. Now I'm going to swear here, but fuck me, that that is a fucking bargain. Uh, that is outstanding, and it is. I hate to say it, but it puts the Orion to shame. Uh, it really in flavour and taste production, uh, reproduction or whatever you want to say, it is just great. So enough gushing from me. What I'm going to do is. <laughs> Because I know so little about this, and I can find, I mean, the, the, the picture at the start of the this review, if you want to call it that, uh, that is all the information that I could find. And most of that was taken from the advert. I mean, I got this from a guy called uh, Tiger Ban on uh, Vaporwall, who was a pleasure to deal with. Uh, he's in Romania as well. And uh, he obviously didn't want me to open this in a hurry because it was covered in so much wrapping paper and that was just really good and uh, I got a real I did I got a really good price for it if buying it I am really happy with it so thanks again Andrew um so I'll stop there if I do get any info more any more information I will add it to the page on my blog toddsreviews.com I'll put as much information beside the review on there as I can or in the description in the YouTube video. But guys, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you got something from this and uh, I'm away to have a vape with my new precious. <laughs> All the best guys, catch you later, bye.